Uh, I'm going to be using uh, Visual Studio Code as the editor of choice uh, in this course. Now, you can use any editor that you want, uh, and it will work just fine because it's just code in the end, and uh, we're running it through, um, uh, bas we're basically running it through the, the terminal. But if you are using VS Code or you want to use VS Code for this, there's some suggestions for extensions to make things a little bit nicer. So uh, first off, for a extension that helps with package management is something called crates. Uh, this package manager uh, allows us to visualize what the versions are of crates are that we have in our crates.toml and uh, to know if we're out of date. So for example, we can take a look at Axum here. And when I hover over the version, I get to see all the different previous versions. Uh, and if I go down to like 010, it yells at me and says, hey, you're really out of date. This, you should really consider bringing this up to, uh, to something more, more recent. So I'm really happy with uh, crates. Now alongside um, a Toml sort of crate uh, or extension is better Toml. Uh, this gives us uh, highlighting for the Toml file. All right, then moving on to sort of more Rust specific, we have uh, Rust Analyzer itself. I cannot program Rust without Rust Analyzer anymore. Uh, now, one of the reasons for that is because Rust Analyzer gives us uh, little inlay hints, like this app router here, uh, that lets us know what that is. Um, alongside that is something called error lens. Error lens takes any errors that Rust Analyzer is telling us and instead of hiding them away down here in the problem uh, bar of VS Code, it inlays them inside of uh, the code itself. So let's say I take away the semicolon, we immediately get this, hey, here's your problem. And then it even shows us where the problem is because the error tells us what line and what column there. So that's really nice as well. Let's go ahead and fix this up again. Um, then we have ThunderClient. ThunderClient is very similar to another tool uh, you may have heard of um, called Postman. Uh, it allows us to send uh, HTTP messages uh, within VS Code. Uh, I have that set up here. So I can basically set it up. We can send a post message out uh, to this URL and uh, go ahead and send that. In this case, I'm getting a 401 because I'm not authenticated. I can't log out yet, but we're gonna be using this to test our API and this allows us to just not leave VS Code. Um, again, if you have your favorite HTTP um, sort of API tester like Postman or you just wanna use something like curl, uh, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't really matter as long as you're able to send uh, HTTP methods. And that's it. These are all the extensions that I generally use to, uh, to make VS Code better for myself. Uh, hopefully uh, these are helpful to you and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.